you on MongoDB video series. Uh, in this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about MongoDB query APIs. So once you insert data into the MongoDB database, then next thing uh, you'd like to do or uh, select, right? Selecting data based on the different criteria, right? So MongoDB provides you uh, APIs to select the data based on the different criteria. Yeah. So first of all, let's try to understand the theory part and finally we'll jump into the practical example. Yeah. So first of all, if I look into the MongoDB query API, we have a method is called find, right? So, so to query a database from a MongoDB collection, you can use a MongoDB find method. And syntax is something like that. You have to first of all connect with the database, right? Once you connect it, then you can do DB and then collection name and then find right and if uh, this method accepts a query object or criteria object i would say if you left it empty then all the documents within that uh, selected uh, collection will be uh, basically uh, 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 all the basically documents will be selected or uh, within a specified uh, collection yeah now second method of find one right so apart from the find method there is uh, also a find one method and that returns only one document uh, right so it probably uh, surprising okay which one document will be returned so it will basically uh, first of all and it also accept the criteria as well if you want you can pass the criteria of course those things we are going to explore in the demo so find one also you can specify the criteria if you do not specify the criteria if you uh, left empty right this parenthesis then it will return the very first match document uh, within the basically collection right now, uh, finally, we'll look into how to use AND, OR, and IN operators uh, in MongoDB, all right, while selecting the data. So let's uh, start uh, these things uh, uh, with the practical uh, demo so that uh, we'll have a clear understanding, right, whatever we discuss in the slide. So I have connected to the MongoDB server using uh, MongoDB shell. And here, uh, if I, sh I could show you, uh, what all dbs are there so these are the dbs i had created so i'm going to connect with my one of the dbs called my db so for that already you know you have to use the command uh, use and db name right my db so i connected with the my db and if you do so collections so it will list out all the collections present in this db so these are the dbs right now do we have now I'm going to use uh, basically, uh, th these are the collections do we have. If you do, do so collections, it will list out all the collections present in this DB, my DB. So now one of the collection is called users. So very first command I'm going to use DB dot, uh, DB dot collection name, that's users and then find. And here uh, within the parenthesis, I'm not going to specify any criteria. So it will select all the documents present in this uh, basically collection. And here is here you go right so these are the basically documents currently present in this uh, db now now we will explore all the concept whatever we have discussed in the slide now we can specify even uh, even uh, criteria so so here here what you can do yeah so here you can pass the criteria so here uh, let's say uh, of course, uh, within the curly bracket, you need to uh, pass a JSON object as a criteria. So let's say I'm going to pass the JSON object. Let's say name. I'm, I want to select uh, all the data, uh, uh, right, matching with this criteria. So name, and let's say name, I'm looking for the KK. So it will basically search entire collection, right? And wherever it finds, okay, name of the user is KK, then all those records will be selected. So fortunately, there is a only one of uh, record with the name as kk so only we are expecting to be displayed this record and if i press enter then here you can see uh, based on the matched criteria uh, uh, result is basically got displayed and it returns the array of documents right so you can see this is a square bracket within the there is only one document this is a very first find method there we have uh, uh, supplied some kind of criteria yeah so let's say let's say uh, if you specify criteria something like this right name uh, you want a kk and second attribute let's say if i am going to specify age right age as let's say 30 
because why 30 because there is a matching record so if i press enter then here because still there is a same record uh, coming out so how it works right so if you specify more than one attribute so every attribute will be combined with the and operator right how it does happen in the sql right so it will operate so and you don't need to give a and d so if you supply more than one attribute in the json then every attribute will be concatenated with the and operator and matching result will be returned to you yeah i hope that makes sense now let me clear this now let me display all the results right now next uh, what we have discussed in the slide find one right so i would say db users that find one right next api and i'm not going to supply any criteria so here you can see uh, it returns only one record, uh, only one record, and that is the very first record, right? So that's how find one works. But here also you can supply the criteria, right? Let's say I'm going to supply the criteria name as, okay, okay. Or uh, let's say take uh, PK. Sorry, uh, there is some mistake. Okay, there is some typo. Right here you can see only one record. Uh, uh, we can uh, basically uh, got written by this uh, criteria right of course you can uh, supply more than one attributes as well and all those attributes will be uh, concatenated with the and operator how we uh, saw in the while using the find uh, method right now let me clear the terminal so now i'm very much sure you are pretty much clear with the how to use find and find one right now let's move ahead and check uh, some more things so what we have discussed in the slide how to use the uh, basically or an in operator so let's talk about okay so here i'm going to call not find one but find a uh, method and here let's try to understand how we can use the uh, basically or operator right so to use the or operator what we will do so here we are going to specify the criteria right so of course criteria should be in the json uh, basically uh, format right so here you have to write uh, basically dollar and or and make sure or you, you have written in the small letter right a small and a small case you cannot write in capital letter otherwise it won't work right and of course here with all uh, what you have to do so here you have to give the square bracket there you are going to supply or means more than one criteria going to supply and every criteria would be a separate json right so or i'm going to give let's say name name let's say name is uh, i'm looking for the uh, all the users whose name is abhi abhi yeah, right and second json after comma you have to give the second uh, basically or uh, basically a criteria right and let's say i'm looking into the all the users whose age is let's say 30 yeah makes sense so here uh this two json is connected uh, with the or operator so here basically i'm i'm telling to the mongodb server hey return me the re result right with the user name is avi and all those users whose age is 30. pretty simple right if i press enter then here you can see the result so here uh name with avi and all the users whose age is 30 right so there is a kk and raj whose age is 30 pretty simple so that's how you can use the or operator let me clear the terminal now now last but not the least we'll see how to use the in operator right so this is pretty much similar to the basically sql right or an in how you use in the sql right so i would say db dot users dot find and here you are going to specify uh, right in operator so in operator let's say again json document and let's say i'm going to select all the users uh, uh, who belongs to uh, basically different cities so in operator we can specify so i'm looking for the ct first of all you have to give the ct then of course colon and after colon uh, you must have a again json document and json document here uh, uh, dollar and in again in you have to give them the small letter right it's, it is case sensitive and in you have to supply the more than one uh, basically attribute so of course uh, here could be the square bracket and here I, i'm looking for the all the users uh, who belongs to the either uh, delhi or let's say uh, delhi or mumbai right so 
so i'm going to get give delhi the first city and comma let's say mumbai of course you can give the more cities as well if i press enter then uh, looks like uh, there is no matching result wise oh, oh sorry so delhi okay spelling mistake delhi uh, and mumbai m should be capital guys uh, whatever data comparison happens that's the case sensitive right if i press enter then here you can see there are two records right ma matching with this uh, in operator right one of the users belongs to the delhi and the second user belongs to the mumbai and matching results got returned so that's how you can use in operator in uh, mongodb so that's all i wanted to discuss in this video tutorial i hope you enjoy learning this video and i i, I hope uh, this learning or uh, basically uh, adds some value to your uh, basically a skill set so guys uh thank you so much for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial <music>